Well, good day. It's Adam Harrison from Purple Guitars, and I am here with you for the Cigar Box Guitar Builder. Um, just a little point there. See that little button that says subscribe? Click that subscribe button if you want to catch up with us and see all the fun things that we're doing in the shop. Today, I'm talking to you about flat pickups. That's these little puppies. We've got one of these. Okay. Now, I'm not going to be talking to you about where these particular ones have come from, so we're not actually talking talking about the companies and things like that. We're just talking about the pickups. And there's a few different types of pickups that you'll find. Things like that. Things like this one here, which has already got a cover on it. All right, so hunt around on your interwebs and I'm sure you'll find you know, where, these, where these pickups are from. Um, I've got a couple of ways of mounting these. Now, some of these, if you just have a little look across the shop here, some of these come with covers. Okay, so for the, for example, with this solid body electric guitar, I'm not gonna have to actually put in a pickup cavity here because the flat pickup's actually going to sit on this guitar under the fretboard and wire will go through into the cavity for the volume and the tone. And then of course it comes to the apple jack. So that's on a solid body guitar. Same idea as, 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 a, um, as a cigar box guitar, of course. So, Here's one of our boxes, and this is currently the neck uh, being glued on to the top of the box. And look what I have done here on this particular one. Now I have a fretted cigar box guitar here, and what I want to do with this particular cigar box guitar is I want to use a magnetic pickup. But I don't want, I didn't want to do a three piece neck, I just wanted to do a neck through tenon, a neck through, okay. And you'll notice I've got a little piece of timber here, which is just to strengthen, it's glued and screwed on here to strengthen this section here, which has gone a little bit thinner. It's more than enough to do that job nicely. Now, you can, of course, put pickups on the top. Some pickups come with these, like these little chrome wrap over things. Um, you can make these too, you know. I mean, this is, this is something that, that we as cigar box guitar builders, we're, we're pretty good at making stuff. Um, you can use one of the covers uh, that, that comes supplied with, with one, of, uh, one of our well-known companies that we have in the world out there. And um, that's another one that I made. So I actually made this one, and I made this one for this particular pickup. Now, I'm not going to use it on this, this guitar because the guitar, as you can see, it's the fretboard. Really, it's a lovely low profile. This particular one, this particular model that I do, is a, it's a very low profile. All right, and it's going to be using one of our one of our timber bridges, one of our homemade timber bridges, of course. And you don't want to see—I don't want to see that. Now, one of the things that's actually happened though is that and this is just for reference. Um, these types of pickups. Okay, have to be earthed. You have to earth these pickups. You can't just run the pickup directly to a volume or an output jack and then out. All right, because what's going to happen is um, you end up with, with a horrible earthing problem because of the strings. The strings have to be earthed. And the only place to do that, if we're using a hidden pickup and we're using a timber bridge like this, the only realistic place to do that is going to be here. So what I usually do is I run a wire, a little wire from underneath on that fret. I've got a little fret there because I'm using um, nice acoustic pins on the back of this one. And from that little fret there, there's going to be a little wire that's going to come through into underneath the box. And then I'll be able to connect that wire to the earth on the output jack or the volume and tone pots. Uh, and that'll actually earth the whole thing. So you won't get that annoying, horrible hum uh, that you can get, and you know, it, it, and the thing with an earthing, it's different to 60 cycle hum. 60 cycle hum is something you get with a single coil pickup. Um, what'll happen with this is that you will get um, a buzz. It's more of a buzz than a hum. And when you touch the strings, the buzz goes away. Take your hand away, and the buzz go, comes back. 
put your hand on the strings, the buzz goes away. Touch any metal component that's attached to the strings, like the machine heads, the buzz will go away. Now, if that happens, you've got an earthing problem, okay? And that's really annoying. Um, look, if you're selling a cigar box guitar and it's just for someone who's sitting at home and they don't really care, look, I get it, it's okay. But if you're playing, if you're building a cigar box guitar or a guitar for someone who's gonna be using it on stage or wants to record with it, um, you're gonna to have to get rid of that. So please make sure you earth it. And I'll do another video showing how to do that. The whole point with this one is just to talk about these flat pickups. I've got off, I've diverged onto another topic. So you can make covers for it. You can buy covers for it. Some will come with these little kind of wrap around covers. As I said, you can you probably even make this as a nice piece of copper, but you could make, make it from a nice piece of aluminium or, it's really lovely actually, it's rather pretty. Um, but yeah, there's some cool things happening. Now with this particular one, I'm actually gonna be using this really beautiful pickup here. And that slides, will slide directly under there. Now that'll all get, that'll all get taped and glued in. So that's not gonna go anywhere. Once that's in, that's in, that's gonna be in for good. But if you have a little look at how close the strings will be to, and that's, that bridge is too high, but we'll get some really good, some really good um, uh, string passage through that magnetic field of this particular pickup. Okay, now, so this is another one you can see that I've covered and I've currently got drying at the moment. Now this particular one's gonna sit on top of the box and we're using a, a copy of one of the taxation stamps to cover the um, cover the pickup, and then that'll get more than likely it'll be some double sided tape that'll hold hold that on some pretty industrial strength stuff that'll that'll hold that on, or I'll glue it down. I end up using some um, epoxy or something like that just to hold it down onto the top of the box. It ain't it's not going to go anywhere after that. Let's be honest. So that's another way, another thing that you could do with a flat pickup. So anyway, that's a couple of ideas for you for, for mounting uh, flat pickups. Um, and there'll be more to talk about surely, sure enough, on the podcast soon. So keep an eye out for the podcast, the Cigar Box Guitar Builder podcast, which will be coming back uh, early this year uh, with Mark from MRWS and myself. Um, and uh, thank you for watching. It's been Adam from Birdwood Guitars, and I'm here for the Cigar Box Guitar Builder. Bye.